Hey everybody, welcome to my first day of World of Weather. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you miss a portion of this lesson, we're gonna put it on our CBS 46 app and our CBS 46 Facebook page, so you can go back and watch it in its entirety. And I hope you'll join me every weekday, Monday through Friday at 1.15, and we're gonna have a different lesson. Now, all of this is very fluid, as has been the news and developments and events that we've been going through together over the past couple of weeks. Initially, this was gonna be in my living room with my children. I have a first grader and a second grader, and they were so excited to be a part of the world of weather, but because of the severe weather threat, Duty calls, I had to come into this studio, so I am bringing it to you live from the studio here at CBS 46. But tomorrow I will be in my living room and my kids are going to be a part of it. And I hope your kids are going to be a part of it because this is as much for them as it is for you. And I think it's going to be fun and we're gonna learn a lot. And that's uh, part of the point. We're stuck at home, we're uh, isolating, we're in quarantine and we need to keep learning and our teachers want us to keep learning. So I'm gonna try to make it fun. I'm going to try to make it informational and we're gonna get through this together. And that's what we really wanna do. We want you to know that we are here for you. CBS 46 cares about you and your kids and everything that's been happening. And we wanna bring you the news and keep you up to date with what's happening in the scary time. But we also wanna be there for your families and your kids and make it fun and make the most of the situation. A little background on me, as you know, I'm the chief meteorologist at CBS 46, but I'm also a mom and I'm also juggling the world <clears throat> on a daily basis, just as you are. Uh, just starting last Wednesday, I was able to start working from home, so I've been juggling that. Plus, I have a first grader and a second grader, so I have my hands full with that and doing their online learning and getting them caught up with that uh, and delivering the forecast for you each and every day. So there's a lot involved <clears throat> that we're juggling and just like you at home are struggling to get it all together and get everything and do it right, uh, we're doing the same thing. So there's a learning curve, we'll get through it together. Uh, and for today, we're starting our very first World of Weather lesson, and it's going to be about the seasons because we have just entered spring. And you know, spring means pollen and it means the warmer weather. It also means severe weather. And this is our severe weather season. So we're gonna talk about spring. We're gonna talk about all four seasons, what it means, and I've got this little globe here. We're gonna do a little activity together that I want you to do at home as well. If you have a globe and a flashlight, that's what you'll need at home. And you can do this activity with me as well. First thing I wanna point out before we get to these graphics behind me is that notice the earth is at a tilt. We're not up and down. So anytime you see a globe, you'll notice it's always on a tilt. It's at 23 and a half degrees. And that is why we have our seasons. It's because of that tilt and where the sun is in relation to where we are. Now, three things I want you to remember. We've got the equator, which is right around the middle of the globe. We have the Tropic of Cancer, which is what goes over the Northern Hemisphere, and we have the Tropic of Capricorn. And depending on where the sun is closest to, determines our seasons. Does it sound difficult yet? Here, let me make it a little easier. Let's take these graphics in full. I wanna show you what I'm talking about here. So here's an explainer of the seasons. The sun goes around, or the earth goes around the sun, I should say, and depending on the tilt of the earth and where the sun is located, that determines what season we're in. We are in the vernal equinox. Vernal is spring. Remember that, I'm gonna ask you about that later. Happens in and around March 19th. It does vary from year to year, depending on the exact position of the sun. But whenever we have the first day of spring, that means that the center of the sun is directly above the equator. And again, what's the equator? It's that line that goes directly over the middle of the globe. When we are in our first day of spring or the first day of the vernal equinox, all areas receive 12 hours of daylight. So both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere both receive 12 hours of daylight. Now, as we leave spring and then we go into the summer solstice, which is summer, that happens around June 20th. And now look at where the sun is. It's directly above the Tropic of Cancer. Remember, the Tropic of Cancer was north of the equator. So now the Northern Hemisphere is getting a lot more sun, much closer to the sun. That means we're getting longer days. But what does that mean for the Southern Hemisphere? shorter days, colder temperatures, and they are directly related. The more sun, the longer the day, the hotter it's going to be. Then we get into the winter solstice. A lot of us don't really like winter, and you can see, again, 
That is when the sun is directly above the Tropic of Capricorn. Remember, Tropic of Capricorn is over the Southern Hemisphere. What does that mean for Georgia? It means that we have shorter days and longer nights, but the Southern half of the globe, the Southern Hemisphere, they're seeing the opposite of what we're seeing. They have longer days and warmer temperatures. So our seasons are opposite. What we see in North America is very opposite than what they're seeing in South America. So again, here's a little refresher. We've got the Tropic of Cancer that cuts through North America. Then we have the equator, which is directly in the middle of the globe there in the middle of the earth. And we have the Tropic of Capricorn. When the sun is over the Tropic of Cancer, it's our summer solstice. We have longer days, more sunshine. When we're in the middle of the globe, it is spring and fall, which is what we're seeing now is spring. And in the winter time, the sun is over at the Tropic of Capricorn. So now we're gonna go to our globe and I'm gonna show you this experiment because this makes it very visual for you. This is a flashlight and this is going to be the sun. And this is the globe. Notice it's at that tilt, 23 and a half degrees. We're gonna turn on this flashlight, see? There's the sun. So you can see how powerful the sun is. So we are gonna take the sun and we're going to put it over the aquarium, uh, equator. So I'm gonna hold it over the middle and we're gonna spin this globe. And as I pass through, do you notice that both the Northern and Southern hemisphere are seeing the same amount of daylight? So in the spring and the fall, both the Northern and Southern hemisphere are seeing the same amount of daylight. But now there's the United States. Now let's go into summer. This is where the sun shines over the Tropic of Cancer in summer and do you see it what happens is the sun right over the united states yes so what do you think that means if the sun is over the united states that means longer days shorter nights it also means warmer temperatures now we're going to do the opposite we're going to bring the sun to the southern side to the tropic of capricorn and what does that mean more sunshine for the southern hemisphere and less sunshine for us in the u.s and specifically for Georgia. So we want to make this interactive. Tell me what's your favorite season? I know a lot of, we'll turn that off so it's not shining in the camera. What's your favorite season? Do you love the spring? Do you love the fall? Do you love winter because it means it's the holidays? Or do you love summer? I do want to let you know that meteorologist Molly McCullum, she is live on Facebook right now answering your questions. So if you do have any weather questions or something you didn't quite get or you want me to re-explain, please ask Molly. We also have our digital manager, Tim. He's on there as well. And we're going to do some question and answer sessions as well. So get your questions ready. I'm ready to answer all questions that you may have for me today. I do want to talk more about what the seasons mean for Georgia. And we're gonna start with that. So let's take these graphics in full. This will help you understand what the graphics or what the seasons mean for Georgia. We're gonna start with summer. And this is my favorite season. I love summer. It starts June 20th. So we still have quite a few months to go. In the summer in Georgia, it's hot. We see thunderstorms almost daily. We get those afternoon pop-up storms. We do get lots and lots of sun. That is when the sun is directly over the tropic of cancer so that means longer days shorter nights it's also when we get tropical storms and the reason tropical storms happen in the summer and into the early fall that is when the ocean water temperature is at its warmest the warmer the water temperature the more active the tropical systems become. So that's when we see that happen in June through the end of November. Spring, that's what we're in right now in Georgia. It means warmer days. Notice it starts getting warmer. It does mean our severe weather season, which is appropriate because today we have that risk of severe weather. We see more severe weather in the spring than any other season in Georgia. It also means lots and lots of pollen. In fact, March is the worst month for pollen here in Georgia, April, not much better. Then we have fall and you may not know this, but did you know that leaves change color because of the temperatures? When we have cooler temperatures, that facilitates those leaves changing color because that chlorophyll, which is what's in the leaves breaks down. And then we have a bunch of other chemicals that cause these color changes. So if it didn't get cooler, we wouldn't have those leaves changing color. So we really depend on the temperature change to get the leaves red and orange and yellow. That's why in Florida, they don't get those beautiful colors that we get here in Georgia. It stays very warm in Florida, so they're not getting those beautiful fall leaves. And last but not least, we have winter. In the winter, it's cold, it's rainy, and sometimes we see snow. On average, we, two, we see two snow days a year in Georgia. So it's time for today's trivia question. 
da 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 That's my uh, trivia music for today. And I did talk about this, so let's see if you remember. What does vertical mean? Does it mean fall, spring, summer, winter? What does vertical mean? And I'm going to ask Tim, who's watching the Facebook feed. Tim, are we getting anyone who's getting the answer right? What are the guesses? Okay, we're getting a couple springs, a couple of falls. Vernal equinox is the spring. We're actually in the vernal equinox, so the answer is B, spring. So hopefully I explained a little bit more about the globe, and I think this is a lot of information that your mommies and daddies learned about in school, and they may have even forgotten. So make sure you quiz them later today. Ask them if they know where the Tropic of Cancer is and where the Tropic of Capricorn is. See if they know the answer. Can they get it right on the globe? And you can try this experiment at home. Get a globe, get a flashlight. Those are the only two things you need. Shine it at the globe and as you spin it, see what it means for our weather. And remember, more sunshine means longer days and warmer temperatures. Less sunshine or the further away we are from the sun means cooler temperatures and shorter days. That's why it gets dark so early in the winter and that's why in the summer it just feels like it's daytime well into the evening hours. We're going to be doing this with you every day, Monday through Friday. We're also going to be answering questions. So if you have a question, go ahead, type it out. If you have any question, Tim, are we getting any questions? Okay, so Tim is telling me, someone asked, what does this mean? How does this relate to the weather? So the seasons directly impact what the weather is. Depending on where the sun is, how long our days are, that means how hot it's going to get, if we're more likely to see severe weather, when the sun sets. So they are directly related. And if the earth was not at a tilt, we would not have the seasons we have. So it's because of the tilt of the earth at 23 and a half degrees, that's what determines how far or close we are to the sun and how long our days are and how long our nights are. We're going to be doing this with you every afternoon at 1.15. I'll hope you join me. Go ahead, ask your questions below. Uh, Molly McCollum is there answering those as well. I hope you learned a little bit about the seasons, what they mean for Georgia, and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 1.15. Everyone be good to your moms and dads. They're very stressed right now. They need all the help they can get. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you later this afternoon.